Enjoy Soda Channel. Welcome to the channel. This is Benjamin. And today we're looking at the Breton language and the Welsh language, comparing numbers in these two languages. I just wanted to give you an example to show you how similar and close these languages are. It's fascinating. These two British languages, the British branch of the Celtic language family. That's what we're talking about today. A quick disclaimer. But I don't speak Breton. And in fact, when I listen to it or when I've heard it, my brain is pulling in opposite directions. I don't know which part to listen to. Maybe I just need more exposure to it. But I'm using and leaning on heavily my wow share to compare these two. And so I'm not going to pronounce poisonig, poisonig perfectly, but we'll give it a go. So let's begin with the numbers. One in Welsh, in. That U is pronounced quite differently to both Cornish and Breton, by the way. So in Breton, una, una. I'm guessing it's under heavy influence of French, so that's how I'm going about it. Two in Welsh, die. And in Breton, dau. Three, tree in Welsh, and tree in Breton. That's the same. Nice. Four, pedwar in Welsh, and pever in Breton. Now, I just want to highlight for a moment that these two languages in these three numbers, two, three, and four, have a feminine form. So look at this. In Welsh, dwy is feminine two, tair is feminine three, and pedair is feminine four. And in Breton, they have these. D, tair, pedair. So that's fascinating that they have those. It shows how closely related they are. Moving on, number five. Pimp in Welsh and pimp in Breton. These are so similar. And number six is essentially the same word in both languages, but you'll notice that Breton has a different way of writing. Chwech. Chwech. Seven. In Welsh, scythe, and in Breton, Seis. That seems almost Spanish to me. I, I hope I didn't pronounce that too badly. Moving on. Eight. In Welsh, it's uith. And in Breton, ace. You'll notice that the TH in Welsh has become an S. And that's, from what I've seen, it's consistent across the language, really. Number nine. Now in Welsh and in Breton, no. Essentially the same thing. In Welsh, number 10, deg, and in Breton, deg. So you see that hardening at the end, which happens in Breton. This happens in Cornish as well. But Welsh has definitely softened most of its endings compared with the other two British languages. Now let's move on to the teens where we see some divergence really begin. 11 in Welsh is inarveg, inarveg, unek. So that's quite different, but you do get this in Welsh, indeg, every now and then. And I just want to point out that a lot of languages have this 11 as being a separate word itself. But a lot of them go with this 10-1 bit. So for the languages that I'm taking on, or looking at following through in my lifetime, they kind of go into these two categories. So, for example, French, Netherlands, Deutsch. These all have this element where they have their own word for 11, right? But Romana, Magyar, Nelv, Hungarian, Ivrit, Hebrew, they all do this 10-1, right? Like Welsh. So, it's quite an even divergence. However, in number 12, Dalek in Welsh, Dausik in Breton, very similar. But 13, 
you get this divergence again while she's going and continuing down this Ardeg on 10, Tri Ardeg, but Breton, Tresic. And it carries on through the teens like this, but 15 is unusual in Welsh. It's, it's so specific, it's Pimfeg. And you see the corresponding one in Breton is Pimseg. Again, that TH becomes a, a Z sound. And there's not much difference in the others going until 18 is very strange in both languages. In Welsh, day now. Literally two nines. Though you get indeg with as well. But why would you use that when you have something as cool as day now? And you get trichwech in Breton. Literally three sixes. Now, from what I understand, there's an older archaic version in Breton that is two nines as well. So that's interesting that both Welsh and Breton have that in some degree. But I wonder what made it so specific about 18 that made it different. 19. In Welsh, there are two different counting systems, essentially. One that's more vegesimal or uh, 20s based, and one that's basically taken from English. And in Breton, they do have that 20s bit, but we get Pedbora Bimfeg, literally 4 on 15 in Welsh. Explicitly when we're talking about, like, the 19th century, Pedbora Bimfeg, and in more formal context. And in Breton, you get Nauntek. 20 in both languages is quite similar. Egan in Welsh, Ugent in Breton. I don't know if you pronounce that T, but I'm sort of softly doing it. Sorry if that's wrong. And then going down, you get this R bit in both to an extent, which means on 20, one on 20, two on 20, so on. When you get higher up into the 20, 40, 50s, it gets a bit interesting because you really see the 20s base counting system firmly taking over in Breton, where it doesn't in Welsh. In Welsh, we have two, still competing in a way. 40 in Breton, Daugant. Daugant. This is very similar to Dagan in Welsh, literally two 20s. Now, I prefer to use Dagan myself in Welsh, but most people generally now use Petwar Dag. You still get it in phrases in Welsh, and it's there. But the English way of counting has taken over for every purpose. In 50, they both say half hundred. In Welsh, hanner count. In Breton, hunter count. Hunter count. 80. In Welsh, again, you have this ulfdeg, but you also have pedwarigan. You have both. In Britain, it seems you have the 420, like in French. Peverica. And Welsh and Britain essentially share the name for 100. Can't. And depending on how you pronounce it in Britain, can't or can't. And 300. This one is really peculiar because in our earliest poetry in Welsh, I mean the earliest poetry, we have Tri Chant. 300, like 300 men going into battle. Doesn't seem a coincidence that Breton has kept this as well. Trichan, that mutation is the same, and the words are essentially the same. 900, however, the mutation's different. In this case, now Kant in Welsh does not change. The C changes not at all, but in Breton, now chant, now chant. There's that ch. And the word for 1000 is the same in both languages. Meal. Some of you had asked me to compare more British Celtic languages with each other. And so I hope that helps a bit. I don't speak any other British Celtic language than Welsh, but looking at them, I can get what they're saying, certainly when reading it and writing. Spoken, however, Breton is a bit further away, simply because it's under influence of French rather than English. But 
they're definitely very close. And these numbers clearly show that. Question of the day. Do any languages that you speak have a different way of counting? And what is it? Here's a big thank you to my Patreons. And please, if you want to leave a like or super like, feel free to. It really helps the channel and the algorithm. And we'll see you in the next episode.